if Joseph was to be alive today, I mean, Joseph in the Bible, what would you say he is? Would you say he's a dreamer, the way most preachers present him today? Now, I think we'll call him an administrator. Now, you will love him when you really critically look at his story. Now, let's read Genesis 39, verse 22. And the warder of the prison committed to Joseph's care all the prisoners who were in the prison. And whatsoever was done there, he was in charge of it. Now, Joseph was put in charge. Now, if you read that same uh, chapter uh, from verse 4, you were told that he was put in charge of Potiphar's house and he served Potiphar. Now, if you check uh, chapter 40, verse 4, he said he served the two uh, prisoners that were brought from the palace of Pharaoh. Now, Joseph's job was serving. You know, that is the greatest gift God has given to us as human. If you can serve, then you can lead. Now, anyone who can serve can lead. You have a gift. It belongs to every one of us. We all have the opportunity to serve. And that opportunity to serve, if we are diligent in that uh, calling, which is the calling to administer, then we can lead. If you can be an administrator, then you can lead. Every one of us have this. Now, check Genesis chapter 1. That's the first gift God gave to Adam. I mean, talking about you. You were in Adam when God gave Adam that instruction. He said you should dress the garden. Now, that is administrative job. Now, take that anywhere you will win. Whether it's in your business, whether it is in your family, wherever you take administration to, you will lead. Administration lead to leadership. If you can serve, then you can lead. Joseph, if you admire him, serve. You know, we pick, and the Lord favored Joseph, we refuse to pick the service. Go on, go read it. Genesis 39 verse 4, he served. Other version will say he ministered to uh, Potiphar, his master. Now, Genesis, the same Genesis chapter 40 verse 4, some version will say he served. He served the butler and the cup bearer. Now, other version will say he ministered to them because with the, the, the word that put those guys in his charge and he ministered to them. How did he manage to interpret their dream? By way of serving them. You are an administrator. You are a born administrator. You have it in you. God programmed every one of us to administer God's gift. If God will bless you, if God will increase you, if God will increase your business, it is according to the capacity of your service. Check Jesus when he came. When he spoke about the parable of the talent, the man, when I was given one, you know, I was given two, then I was given five. What did he say? The one who served with what he was given, the one who, 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 who administered, the one who took care of what he was given, was given more than the one who didn't take care of it, who was, was taken away from him. So the summary of the whole thing, which is the gift God has given to all of us, the greatest gift that you have that you might not be using right now, it is the gift of administration. What is under your care? What is under your care right now? What are you doing to it? It's time for you to take that greatest gift, that administrative gift, that gift of service, and put it to work. And by so doing, you will end up becoming a leader. Thank you, guys. If you have a comment, please put it in the comment section. You have that gift. That gift is the gift of service. Go out there and start to serve. You know, let me just chip this in. This is what I tell everyone. If you're looking for a job, offer yourself for free and you eventually get a job. Thank you. I see you next week.